Gentlemen, we had a nice session today with Fingerstyle. Notice, no picks over here. And we're going to go through Belief by John May that we did today in class, just to revise over here. Notice my fingers are numbered. Make sure you use the same fingers as myself. Okay. If you've got any hesitation on the fret numbers or how the tabs work, drop me a WhatsApp. I'm just going to quickly take you through one more time. It's going to sound like this. First bar. I'm going to zoom in a bit closer so you can see the picking and fretting hand together. You can see the thumb is playing the top string. So it's going to play, you can see the thumb picking the top string. And your first finger is at fret 10. That's the double 10 at the beginning of the page which says intro and verse riff. The next two notes, the 12 10, I want you to pre-position your ring finger on the 12th, second from the top, fifth string from the bottom, and put your first finger in fret number 10, third string from the bottom, like that. And you're going to now watch the picking hand. Double like that. Bum, 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 bum. So it's not bum, 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 bum. It's got a bit of a bit of a swing feel to it there. So it's dum, 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 dum on the rhythm. And if you add the first two notes with it, you get this. One more time, bit of a different angle. One, two, three, four, and... And then you move back from fret 10, where the first thing is there, to fret 9. And that's it. That's your first bar. So I'm going to zoom in now more head-on on the fretting hand. And take you through it there so you can see the finger movements. It's not moving much. This hand's not doing that much. Everything is largely finger 1 and finger 3. Here we go. I'm going to count in, so if you want to join me, you can. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, there you have it. The second bar now, that's a bit tricky because it's a little bit of a jump. So I'm going to get a bit of a different angle. This is my third fret where I'm tapping over here. And I'm going to put my first finger on the third fret. And it's going to start off same rhythm. Same double pick there. And then you have to jump all the way to 8-7. Now this time fingers 1 and 2. Finger 2 is on the 8. Finger 1 is on the 7. Fifth string, always count from the bottom. Third string, always count from the bottom. And it's going to have, you can hear that same style and type of rhythm. And watch the jump here. There's my fret 3. So I'm going to go 3, 3, 8, 7, 8, 7. And then my first finger slides back to 5. So the entire second bar is going to sound and look like this. We got that. Now, to add the first two bars together. I'm going to get a bit of an overview here and we're going to play all together. Okay, I'm going to count you in, so you want to play through with me once slowly, that's cool. Just the first two bars. One and two and three and four and... So you can see it's very quick, very accurate jumps and to help you get those jumps working so that it's nice and accurate, top of your guitar, you can see I've got little dots there, little dots there, dots there. This guides me. I know that that's fret 9, so there's my 10th fret. When I have to go to fret number 3, I know that dot over there is my 3rd fret. My guitar's got little birds on there. Yours might have circles, dots, whatever the squares, whatever the inlays are. Those are your guides. They're standard. Okay. Next bar stays at fret 3, but now on the 5th string. So the thumb move down and this one's not too big a deal you can see the fingers in place there fret five on the fifth string fret three on the third string and then just one fret slide back and then the last bar almost looks like the first bar it ends differently it's going to be like this so the first bar went backwards to the nine and this last bar is going to go play the 10 again and you slide it up to fret 12 which happens to be where your double dot is on the top. To finish off I'm going to play through the whole top line. I'm going to zoom out a bit there so I can get a bit of overview. And I'm going to do it slow and then we'll finish up with it quick at the correct speed. Are you ready? One, two, three, four and...
repeat it. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four, and... Guys, that's the intro riff for Belief by John Mayer. See how it goes. you got any questions, drop me a WhatsApp. And then try and tackle the bridge riff by yourself. So I don't want to play it for you because then I know you're just going to copy what I'm doing. I want to encourage you to get used to reading your tabs. Get used to reading because if you can read, you can write. If you can write, you can tab down your own music as you go around creating. And have an awesome day. Nice playing today. Let me know how it goes. Thank you.